Hey guys, welcome to today's video which is about the diencephalon. I'm going to tell you a bit about it, like the general view, and then I'm going to talk about three of the main parts in this particular video. We're going to talk about the metathalamus, the epithalamus and the subthalamus. So I, we do not have any money for the metathalamus, but we do for the other two and I'm going to go to them later. Um, so first a few things, so the diencephalon is between the uh, cerebrum and the midbrain and uh, it's uh, the hypothalamic sulcus divides it into two parts. So you've got the dorsal and the ventral part. Now the pars dorsalis consists of the thalamus, which is also known as the dorsal thalamus, the metathalamus, which I'm going to write one here, metathalamus, great, the thalamus, then we've got the epithalamus, which I'm going to put as number two, then we've got the pars ventralis, which consists of the subthalamus and this is also known as the ventral thalamus which I'm going to write as number three and then we've got the hypothalamus over here okay so we're going to talk about one two and three Let's start. So the first one about the methothalamus is uh, there's no mnemonic because it's about the geniculate body. So the methothalamus is number one. Okay, so it's got the medial and the lateral. So we're going to start with the medial geniculate body. And then we've got the lateral geniculate body okay so these um, are bodies that they contain uh, if you must know they contain nuclei now for example the medial geniculate body it's not very important but it can consists of like three nuclei so we've got the medial ventral and the dorsal Nuclei and this medial genicular body is for the audit a relay station for the auditory pathway. Auditory pathway. And so it receives from the inferior colliculus superior member of the midbrain and goes to the auditory cortex, like 2240, and that would be acoustic radiation. Then we've got the lateral geniculate body, which receives from the superior colliculus because it's for the visual pathway. It's a, a relay station for the visual pathway. And obviously it will send it to the visual cortex, which you remember is 17, 18, 19, and to the retina, retina, etc. Okay, that is it for the uh, metas. Thalamus, and then we move on to the second one, which is the epithalamus. Now, the epithalamus has a mnemonic. Epithalamus, yeah, it's got a mnemonic, which is happy people prosper. So happy people prosper, and this mnemonic is for the structures that is contained within this. Uh, region the epithalamus so happy stands for the Habe Nula nucleus P stands for the posterior commissure and the other P stands for the pineal gland so these three structures are important when you talk about the epithalamus the habenula nucleus has two nuclei, so it's got the lateral and the medial nucleus. And it's a region for pain processing, reproductive behavior, nutrition, sleep egg cycles, etc. So I'm just going to write nutrition and pain processing. You can write the rest. 
Then we've got the posterior commissure, which has two nuclei as well. Um, sorry, it's got four nuclei. And it's interstitial, dorsal, nuclei of dark Schuetz, and interstitial nucleus of Kehol. Um, I doubt it's that important, but I've mentioned it so you can write them down. You just need to know that the posterior commissure is a part of um, the epithalamus, and it's got four nuclei. Then you can move on to the pineal gland, uh, which consists of the pinealocytes, the pinealocytes, and these synthesize or produce melatonin, and this melatonin is promoted by darkness and is inhibited by daylight in the day, okay? And it also consists of interstitial glial cells and these interstitial glial cells are modified astrocytes okay another thing you need to know is that um, uh, some ca sometimes calcium and magnesium salts uh, cause concretions to be um, present in the pineal gland to be formed and these are known as the corpora arenacea this is known as brain sand. Okay, that is it for the epithalamus. So you need to know, so basically, this would be our epithalamus. Yeah, so that's our number one, the Havenula nucleus, or our happy. That's our number uh, three, which is uh, prosper and pineal gland. And that would be a number two, which is people and posterior commissure. Then we move on to our last bit, which is the subthalamus. Okay, so the subthalamus also has a um, mnemonic and it goes some feet smell. So this is also for the structures present. Now for some, you've got the subthalamic nucleus. Nucleus. For F, you've got the field or fields of Farrell. And for S, again, you've got something called the subthalamic fasciculus. So I'm going to write it here. I'll write it later on. You'll get to know. So. <clears throat> You need to know that the subthalamic nucleus um, sends or projects fibers onto the globus pallidus and substantia nigra. The globus pallidus and the substantia nigra. Okay, <clears throat> and it's um, when this part is uh, damaged, it leads to violent, uncontrolled, involuntary movements of the contralateral side of the body, not the same side. So, um, um, the subthalamic nucleus, it receives input from the globus pallidus. And the, when it receives input, for example, yeah, this globus pallidus, it receives and projects. So when it receives input from glo uh, this, um, the globus pallidus, it does so through smell, which is subthalamic fasciculus, right? And so, so subthalamic nucleus is on this side, then you have the internal capsule here, and then you have the globus pallidus here. So it crosses the internal capsule through these fibers and reaches the subthalamic nucleus. Then you have the fields of Farrell. Now the fields of Farrell is the Ansa lenticularis. Now the globus pallidus has a medial side, now we're talking about this, okay, and a lateral side. Now the fasciculus lenticularis comes from the lateral side. So this one gives out the fasciculus lenticularis. And the medial one gives out the ansa lenticularis. Mm -hmm. 
these two together form the thalamic plus two together is the fields of Forel. So this and this together plus is the fields of Forel, and they combine to form the thalamic fasciculus. That goes to the thalamus, of course, thalamus fasciculus. Okay. And there are two types of fields of Forel. There's H1 and H2. This on its own is H2, and this together is H1. One, um, I think that is it. Uh, there's another structure which is called the zona inserta. It's just a cluster of cells, but um, its un function is unknown. But it's a structure present in the subthalamus, so it's important for you to know this. Okay, that would be it for the diencephalon and the metathalamus, epithalamus and the subthalamus. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.